What's good with y'all? We got 4411 custom tactics. Let's get to it. So defensive style, you got two options. You could either play balance, you know, or if you're a pressure style player, then you use pressure on heavy touch. You feel me? So try both of those settings and see which one works for you. Now the width, you can play anywhere from, you know, 50 to 65. You know, 50, if you want your formation to be more narrow, you feel me? 65 is to, you know, cover against players who use like a 3-5-2, stuff like that. So you could try both of those. The depth, you can do anywhere from 50 to 71. You know, I would personally recommend like a higher pressure for this formation. So anywhere from 60 to 71 is good. If you feel like 71 is too taxing on your player's stamina, then use 65. Build up play. You know, if you're in a losing situation, you can use long ball, you feel me? But I would just go with balance. Um, chance creation, you can also put it on balance. You feel me? That could work for you. Or if you're a possession type player, you can put it on possession, but balance and balance is pretty good. The width, you can match it with your, you know, defensive style width. Or you can lower it, you know, just to make your offense more dynamic. So test out which one works for you. Players in the box, if you want more possession, that means you want your players at the edge of the box, you could leave it at four. But if you want, you know, to get more crosses in and things of that nature and get headers, move it up to anywhere from six to eight. Corners and free kicks, it's up to you. I usually just put it at one and one. Your striker, you know, you could put them on stay forward and get them behind. Keep it simple. You feel me? So yeah, that's what we're gonna put on the striker. Your center forward, um, you can also put them on stay forward or you can leave them, you know, completely on balance. It's up to you, you feel me? But yeah, you can also add, you know, get them behind for the attack and runs. Now your right mid, you could put them on cut inside and get them behind. You feel me? But if cut inside doesn't work for you, you can put them on balance. Same with the other one. Just try to put get them behind on both at least. Um, you know, your left center mid or left CDM, you could put, you know, just cover center. This is gonna be your more attacking center mid. The other one, you need to put them on, you know, stay back while attacking, cover center. So it just keeps that balance in the midfield. You feel me? Your fullback, you can leave them all balanced if you're comfortable with that. But if you want more defensive structure, stay back while attacking, overlap. And the same, you know, concept applies to, you know, the other fullback. So if you're gonna put one on balance, put the other on balance. If you're gonna put the if you're gonna put one on stay back, then put the other on stay back. So just follow that. You feel me? But yeah, man, that center four is gonna be the key to this formation. So try to get you a center four with at least four star weak foot. I would say five stars just so you can pass and shoot with both feet. But yeah, try out these tactics, you know, check out all my other videos and subscribe.